Oxygen sensors are also an integral part of automotive uh, diagnostics. Uh, the oxygen sensor actually produces its own voltage depending on the O2 content of the actual exhaust and they're uh, easily tested uh, as far as the ground is concerned and uh, remember that this ground could be provided by the actual computer and uh, you simply probe between uh, voltage supply and the actual O2 sensor ground and 12 volts uh, should be seen uh, uh, on the as, a, as an output uh, this uh, would uh, immediately test the actual ground uh, the second step is to actually test the O2 sensor signal which you do by probing between chassis ground or battery negative and the actual signal line a voltage between 0.1 and 0.9 uh, in actuality uh, should be seen uh, theoretically they uh, produce about a volt uh, rarely they actually uh, uh, produce that and the best way to test an O2 sensor is by using the graphing multimeter of the oscilloscope and actually uh, reading the actual frequency and amplitude uh, which would uh, coincide with uh, uh, one volt peak uh, peak to peak or uh, anywhere between 0.1 as we said before and 0.9 and with an amplitude of one hertz or higher The second part of an O2 sensor testing is to actually test the heater and this is simply done by testing the heater negative side by uh, using a test light and probing between a voltage uh, supply line and the actual heater negative uh, line uh, going to the actual O2 sensor. The test light should immediately light up verifying that the actual module or ECM is actually providing the ground needed for the heater to turn on. The second step on testing a heater is to uh, actually test for the actual heater positive or the positive side which is also provided in many occasions by the actual ECM and you simply do that by probing between chassis ground and the actual heater positive uh, side of the uh, O2 sensor. A, uh, the actual test light should light up. Uh, in many cases it actually blinks indicating that the uh, uh, actual heater is uh, duty cycle controlled.